So we have studied polynomial in ninth grade also. Over there, uh, I have discussed zero of the polynomial, uh, degree of the polynomial. So I'll just quickly brief you what are the different types of polynomial. So first of all, we will be focusing on one variable only. It can have more than one variable also, but we will be focusing on one variable. Okay. So first type of polynomial is linear. What is a linear polynomial? Uh, where degree is one. Very good. Where degree is one. So general form is ax plus b. Is that yeah, thing clear? Okay. ax plus b. Any doubt in this? No. So next comes quadratic. Where degree is 2. And its general form is ax square plus bx plus c. After that, third one is cubic, which is degree is 3. So general form will be ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b. Okay. Now the most important part over here is if the degree is one, so maximum zeros would be one. I said maximum zeros. I'll talk about maximum zero. What does it mean? And over here, maximum zeros would be two, two because degree is two. And over here, maximum zeros would be three. three. Okay. So, in mathematical form, in CBC especially, these zeros are labeled as alpha. Over here, two zeros are there. So, alpha, beta, there are three zeros. So, alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay. Just like y, alpha, beta, gamma. Is that thing clear? Now let me just explain by examples and visual representation. What does these zeros mean? Okay. So quickly copy this much, then I will share. But let me just take some of the examples to make you understand what does the zero mean. So let us take first example as 2x plus 3. What is this? What type of uh, this thing is? What? Okay. Linear quadratic two x plus three is what? Linear. Very good. It's a linear. Okay. So since it is a linear, can you see it is forming a straight line? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see at this point, minus five one point five comma zero, this particular polynomial is becoming zero. So let me just explain this thing a little bit more. Okay. So let us write this polynomial on a board. Now 2x plus 3 is my polynomial, which is represented by px equals to. It can be px, gx, ux, anything. But let us take px equals to 2x plus 3. When we are saying zeros, zeros means I want to know when this polynomial will become zero, which means that this px is becoming zero. So therefore, 2x plus 3 equals to zero, x equals to minus 3 by 2. So x equals to minus 1.5. So at minus 1.5, this polynomial is becoming zero. I hope the zero of the polynomial is clear. Yeah. Any doubt in this? No. So another important point, linear polynomial gives you a 
स्ट्रेट लाइन ओके स्ट्रेट लाइन लेट एस फोकस ऑन क्वाड्रेटिक so let's say a polynomial is gx 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 something like this now let me just ask you one thing do you know how will the graph will look like of this thing 2x squared plus 3x plus uh, minus 5 how will the graph will look like no Your guess, two x squared plus three x minus five. So this U-shaped curve is known as parabola. Okay, this is a parabola, and these are the two points where this parabola is becoming zero. Understood? So minus two point five. And one, these are the two zeros. Any doubt in this? No. So I'll just go back to the other screen. The shape of the graph is parabola. Okay. Now remember one thing: if this a is positive. Then the parabola is generally upside, and if a is negative, then parabola is downside. Inverted. Understood. Upside down. So we will see. Uh, you can use this Desmo tool, which I was showing, and to see visualize how the graph is looking. Now it will always have. Maximum two zeros. So when I said maximum two zeros, I mean to say that it is quite a possibility that parabola is touching x-axis two times. Yeah. There is another possibility that the graph is touching only once. At this point, when the graph is touching only once, it will have same zeros. Same two zeros. Okay. It will have two different zeros. When we are saying zeros, I mean to say value of x. So, so two different zeros. Mm -hmm. Now, third case could be. It is not even touching x-axis, so no zeros. Understood? Yes. So that's why we said maximum two zeros. We never said two zeros. When we say two zeros, it will always have two zeros. No, it is not the case. It can have no zeros. That means no value of x. It can have only one zero. Okay, that means both the zeros are same. And third one is two different zeros. Now, based on this understanding. Do you have any idea how will the cubic polynomial will look like? Cubic polynomial go like a wave, look like this. So, just like quadratic, it was going like a U curve, and cubic it goes like two times U in continuation. Okay. So maximum zeros are possible are three. Is that thing clear? Yes. Yeah. So if you want to try, you can try the Desmo tool on your own. You can say g x equals to two x cube minus three x square plus five x minus seven. I'm just taking random numbers. You will insert this thing in Desmos tool. It will give you a graph that will help you in visualizing how the graph will look like. Okay. So I guess this was the basic understanding of polynomial, and after that we learned.
the geometrical measuring of zeros. Zeros means where it is intersecting x axis. How many times it is intersecting x axis? It, we can ask you the values also. So based on this understanding, quickly do the first exercise, 2.1. Exercise 2.1. Quickly do it right now. Most important thing which you should consider is written over here y equals to px. I'll tell you why later on. Or I can discuss right now. Y equals to px, it means that they are asking how many times this polynomial is intersecting y axis. Sorry, x axis. Suppose the question was x equals to py. This question would have been asking how many times the polynomial is intersecting y axis. Understood? So tell me for the first question, what is the answer? How many zeros? Zero. No zero. Zero. And how many zeros over here? Second part. It is this one. Second part. One. One. One zero. Uh, and in the third one, uh, this is the first zero, three zero. zero, third zero, so three zeros. One, two, two zeros, one, two, three, four, four zeros, one, two, three. So this is the most confusing. But one second, this is sixth. Okay. So Okay, is this part clear? Yes. Now, let's say the question was about this thing, what I just discussed. So let me just erase this part. X equals to PY. The question is reversed. In that case, we will be looking at Y intercept. So in this case, this y. is a Y intercept one. One. And over here, this one. is the y intercept one. one. This is the y intercept one. One. Over here, we are assuming will go like this. It will be one. Oh, understood. Uh -huh. Understood this part. Uh -huh. This is one again. This is one again. It is not. Uh, it is also possible that uh, it can have more than one. I'll just draw somewhere. Let's say it is like this. It might have three. Okay. Hmm. Now one more example. Let's say parabola is like this. How many zeros will be there in this red one? Zero. No, 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 no. Uh, Incorrect. Two. Yes, it will go up like this. It is two zero. This is the most important question which we can get if this kind of question is coming. Any doubt in this? No. So we have already done quadratic equation. Yes or no? How to find factors, factorization in class eight and nine. Yes, yes. Middle term splitting and all that. So yes, yes. we have to revise that first of all before moving on to anything else. And second thing we need to revise is division of the polynomial. You know division of polynomial? Division of polynomial. Like remember, we used to do these kind of questions. Okay, yes. Yes, um, yes no? Uh, so we yes. have to do these two division. Uh, after that, this chapter is almost done. Let me tell you. So this, these two are your homeworks. Where yeah. you have to revise middle term splitting. I will share the video. Those who are watching online this video, I will share the link in the description box. And similarly, division. So based on this thing, we will do the next exercise. Okay, next two exercises which we have. Okay. Any doubt 
as of now? No, no. Sure. On this note, I'll just end this today's class.